All right, there we go. Six, eight, five, one. Gave me two blocks here for a reason. First one is to block. The second one is to also block. Or you could be a stubborn dick and just keep pushing and tanking these hits like they're nothing. You know, because who cares about taking damage, right? Got a million health as it is. Or at least, mm, what is that, nine health? There's. Three, six, seven, eight, nine. That's ten health. Wow, I didn't realize I have that much health. A lot of health. For a skinny kid who started out with four health, that's a lot of health. We did it. We solved the puzzles. Put out all the lights to help realize that they're giving me a bigger hint now than they did previously. And I'm guessing we got to backtrack here, despite the fact that the game insists that there's a door here. Yeah, door. There's supposed to be a door right here. According to the map, there's no door. It lies. See that lie? See that little passageway lie that they have? Big fucking lie. So annoying, isn't it? I'm annoyed. If you're not annoyed, I'm annoyed. Yeah. Yeah, Chowder, you take care of them. Knock them back into the wall. Say, hey, this is my my house. You thought you lived in this house, you're wrong. This is my house. I own it now. Me and my water pistol. We own this house. It belongs to me, not you. Now we've got a key. We can continue on with the game. Weird, I turned my flashlight on. That's weird. Why would I turn my flashlight on in a dark room like this? That's weird. So yes, they're all mimic doors, but only one of them leads me to the next room. Well, maybe two if you count this one. I have a key. Wow, we wow wow. Got a key to go there if I wanted to. Crazy, isn't it? Looks like it might work, but it doesn't. Dead end. Which means the good door is right here at the end. Like the map tells me. The job map actually not disappointing me this time around. All right, we got a boss found again, or at least some drops anyways. Let's fill up, uh, fill up, uh, Jennifer, Jenny, John, John, Jenny for, uh, Jenny's health. Uh, and we'll save, and then we're going to do that thing that kind of cheats the game, kind of not. I'm going to... I'm gonna cycle this room a bunch of times so that uh, we fill up everybody's health by going two doors down. So there's nothing here. I know these other doors don't lead any place because uh, I've clearly already been to this room. Ta-da! We already been in this room, and we've also been to this room. So we know they don't lead here. So we're just gonna, like I said, go in a circle and make sure that. Uh,
I lost my bearings here for a second. I thought this was a new area. It is not. I know that because of the uh, picked over um, treasure chest in the room above, which is, we're gonna, like I said, get more, some more health. I'm gonna fill up DJ next, and then we'll fill up Chowder last. Um, you know, cause the same stuff holds the same stuff. So these two right here are gonna be health ups. So now DJ's full, Jenny's full. I just have to fill up Chowder who has the most health of all. So if I die here, it's not a big deal. I just saved, but it'll help us save some time if I don't die. Be, uh, be nice if I don't die. That was gonna take me another two to three cycles, I think, to do because I think I get about four health or five health here. I've got a total of two, four, six, eight, nine to go. We'll be pretty close when we come back this time. Filling out his health. Because I'll either I'll either be a half health off or I will be completely full. Oh, I forgot Jenny needed more healing. That's my bad. Alright, one more cycle. I also don't realize I have a key at this point either. Otherwise I probably would have gone in the door. So I think I need two keys for that area, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, that is full health for everybody. Let's save. There's a good chance I'm gonna die in the next room. Let him get too close. Yeah, don't attack me anymore. That that would that would just be terrible if you attacked me. It actually, means that I would have to play some defense. Play defense. Yeah, I'd rather play defense. Well, I wouldn't say always. I'm thinking when I used to play when they used to do NCAA college football. Brave Adventures, you're near the heart, the furnace, but you're not ready. Why, Skull, we've come all this way. Don't mistake the meaning, little knight. You have the courage, but you are lacking the firepower. You can't fight the thing. Of course, what was I thinking? I was trying to destroy the house with water. You need something stronger to stop the house once and for all. Like a water balloon? Stronger than water balloons. Those attacks will only stun a powerful creature. Nebercracker was in the army, right? Luckily, he might have something hidden. Good thinking, milady. You should search the area and see if you can find anything. Oh boy. Gasp. A ghost. Be gone. Flee. Be gone yourself. What are you kids doing here? Get away. It's never cracker. He's not a ghost. He's not dead. I'm not a murderer. Of course I'm not dead. Who says I'm dead? You'll be dead if you don't scram. Okay, honey, I'm home. What's the matter with you boys? Don't you listen? This is no playground for children. The last time, leave! Come on, DJ. You're talking to the man who married his house. Mr. Nebercracker, I know blah blah blah. What do you know? You don't know anything. We know the story, the accent, everything. You do? Yes, you saw always watching. Poor Constance, I loved her. I tried to help her, but she fell. She died. But she didn't leave. We were still here together. I could feel her when I sat in an armchair or opened a door. 
I took good care of her and kept you kids away from her. She'll attack anyone who came near. Especially kid. Come on, dear. There's nothing to worry about. I can't let you do this, Mr. Nebercracker. I know you're protecting your wife. But you love your wife. You know what it's like to think everybody's a weirdo. Do you? No, you couldn't understand. It's not like be hidden being the world through a peephole knowing that the only time you get close to another living being is to scare people. Mr. Nebercracker, you don't have to live like that anymore. But if you let her go... Maybe I will let her go. Stay away from those children, Constance. Okay, kids. You have to hurry up. There are dynamite stored in the old army demolition kit. Go take them and destroy the house, but be careful. I'll try to stop her from killing you. Hang on, Mr. Nebercracker. We're gonna help. Well, it looks like there are two paths. There's really only one path, which is the one with that I'm going with with DJ because it There's an area I need there's a button up here. I need to hit with DJ in order to open up uh, further uh, exploration so. Perfect place for TV because I can't dodge left or right uh, but can't do enough damage to me to really make any difference. So does anyone want to take a guess what I'm about to do here? Yeah, I should have, uh... Well, I guess it didn't matter, did it? I was gonna say, I should probably tank that damage on the, the one damage. And, uh, just sort of gone from there. This is sort of pointless because I know I have to have Chowder, uh, and, uh, Jenny with me. So, when I go two rooms over, it's gonna cause these guys to respawn, but... For some reason, I decided, hey, let's fight these guys. <laughs> it looks like you can get around those by going against the wall, but no, you cannot. Oh boy, more floating block. Wonderful. But I like to see floating block floating back and forth. Oh no, I needed those pots in order to hit the switch. My bad. I'm gonna take a closer look though. Yep, definitely needed those pots. Oh well, I'll just go back. Luckily, these sync up much better, so I don't feel like I'm wasting all of everybody's time. Oh, so I like how that block I just came off of kind of looks like an angry, squished up face. Like you just ate a lemon or something. So yes, I'm doing the two, the two room rule, which is I'm going back another room make sure that the pots reproc themselves um, because they probably don't respawn unless I do it this way so I'm gonna lose more health by doing this but uh whatever I got three chances to do this and I'm pretty sure I don't need to go on that last block though now there's three floating blocks here to the south. I'm pretty sure I only need to go get to the second one for this to work. I think I'm a little too far away on this block, but definitely uh, if I get to the next uh, block to the left here, I should be good. But I wasn't standing far enough on the block, so too bad. Nice of them to, to respawn me, though, on the... Uh, on the far platform, though. 
I appreciate it. And yes, as you can see, these are not well synced. Kind of just gunned it there. And I barely got that, so I had to stand at the edge and barely hit the edge of the other one. Hey, Jenny. Hey, Chowder. I guess I did not need to come here, but that's okay. We'll permanently unlock the permanently unlock this room. If for some reason they drop something like a candy or water or, or you know a key, we'll be good. No, they did not drop anything. I like how they get to respawn immediately after me going into and out of a room, but I don't. And everything else doesn't get to respawn. What bugs get? Bugs get the, the advantage over, over everybody else. Alright, let's flip over to Dum Dum Head again. Yep, you can tank all the damage you like. We'll try to be careful though. Okay, we gave up being careful. That's okay. This is where the charge shot's gonna blow him up. Boom, that's one. Two, dead. One. Because of how far he shoots those guys back, I literally don't even have to back up or move. Ridiculous. Could be okay here, even if I take two damage or three damage. We'll still have enough health. And then we can switch over to Ginny. We will take care of the fire guys here, hopefully. Gary, I know. Up, oh, I relit one of the guys accidentally. That's bad. Ow. All right, I was pretty sure that they were going to drop something for me, some sort of upgrade or E or something, but no, they didn't do anything so. On my way out, I'm just going to ignore them as if they didn't exist. More. Luckily, I have seven slingshot things to shoot with, so we will be good. Or we should be good anyways. Should have enough. Uh, there's only, I think, a total of four mirrors in here. So I will have to use four of, or three more shots, so I've got... Three misses and uh, three good shots available, and that's not going to work. I have to be on either a northern or southern platform. Do you believe in Jesus? 
Thank you. Pray. Pray to Jesus. Or you will need to do so for this here golden furnace thingy, I'm guessing. Or you're not going to have any longer range than the previous guys, and I'm just going to outrange you like I did before. <laughs> you're dead. I got a toy. It looks important. Press the start button to learn more about what I appear, what I'm guessing is a race car. Oh, boy car. Quite synced up yet. Sorry. Maybe next time. I have to wonder if some of the inspiration. Maybe not for the movie, cause again, I've not seen it, but let's just say this video game, a little bit of the inspiration is a hoarder, like a hoarder mentality. There's a lot of fucking garbage piled up here in the basement. A lot of toys, I'm guessing, is, is sort of what it's inferring, is that the house is eating all these toys, sort of piles them up in the basement. gives you two options like a, a take the one that you haven't been to yet there's a left and right and the right is is uh area you've already been to take the left or take the north i mean all right we're gonna do this again remember i was talking about how like some of this oh i think i'm figuring it out now the reason it looks like a baby doll is because the house eats toys from children and that's a that's the reason why it, the, that looks like a baby doll because it is and I also guess they probably play tested this room and realized that it was unfair to put a bookcase next to a uh, flame furnace the door behind me locked and that's why you don't want to do what I just did but that's okay because that area is actually a dead end anyways at least for right now it's a dead end so. farther chowder and that would have been perfect. That would have been a perfect pool. Going here, we're gonna save. So, in case anyone's wondering, that loop was necessary because I did have to get 
a uh, second key. Um, the first key obviously would have unlocked the first door I haven't unlocked, but there is a second door uh, that I would need that second key for, so should be a quick trip back to um, where we were at previously. Um, minus this. practically already back to the uh, save area just because we've already sol solved all the puzzle so like the detour portion is being taken out we're just going straight to you know like straight through the the heart of the dungeon that's door number one here's door number two In, I believe you want to call this basement one. We're back in basement one. Yep, basement one. So this is the other section I'd been looking at on the map, going, okay, when are we gonna get to, when are we gonna get to go there? Because we you know obviously haven't been there yet. That's too easy. That's way too easy. Guessing that was also a play testing issue right there. They've had to put a uh, what's it called? Uh, a block in the way so that guy doesn't accidentally try to go through the door and glitch out. Yep, just a side area though. Nice. Yeah, so these guys kind of fuck themselves. He should go all the way back, but I don't know why he gets stuck like that. It's a very funky room that I don't, doesn't look like they completely ironed out all the kinks in. Shit's locked. This is the kind of room I was hoping to get earlier on. Um, you know, where you, you could reliably restock her slingshot ammo. Yeah, I'm gonna have to come back up. Oh, yeah, I'll just tank this. Okay, whatever, Chris. End up using that candy bar anyways in a second. We'll have to come back here with chowder to do that. Multiple routes, multiple ways. I don't got a key to get through that door. All part of the puzzle though. Gotta stand in there with your big kid balls. I know you're running low on health. Man, for the amount of, of, um... Whatever they call that. Uh, sleeping cough syrup serum. Uh, I certainly run into a lot of areas that restock that. Alright, a Jenny area. Jenny. Hey, Jenny. Mean journey were like peas and carrot. Kinda went together, but not not in some households. We're allowed to touch each other like peas and carrots. But in some households that would be considered weird. Because why would you want your vegetables to touch? 
but they weren't related to each other in real, you know, in the story, so it's not like they were cousins or something. That would have been weird. Uh, this puzzle is oddly generous. Um, I was pretty sure after I had screwed up the second pull there that uh, this ch second chain was going to re uh, retract itself. Then I came down and was like, okay, well maybe the chain doesn't retract itself at all. And then it does retract and you're like, okay, that's oddly, very oddly forgiving in comparison to everything else that I've come across so far where it's been not forgiving at all. Not at all. 